Hello guys and welcome to my channel and to my new video. Today I will cover top music idioms that you need to know. Idioms are commonly used in our daily lives and it adds colors to the language and we should know them well. There are thousands of idioms but most of them are useless. Today I will tell you most useful idioms about music. But before going in, if you're new here, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Let's get started. So the first idiom we need to know is to face the music. When you face the music, it means you accept the consequences of what you want to do and the consequences of your actions. Like you did something wrong and you are ready for facing the music. It means you will accept what will happen. You take the full responsibility of your actions. For example, you have an exam next week, maybe IELTS or a TOEFL, and you promise to your family, I will get the highest score or even applying for a job and they need an eligible person for that post and you are not ready for that but you booked your exam and you can't change the date. You will face the music. You will not accept it by them because you are not eligible for that or you will not get a high score. Those who stand up and face the music and those who run for cover. The next one is to blow your own trumpet. It describes someone who brags about themselves and about their achievements. Like, he is really a good boaster. He blows his own trumpet all day. The next one, to play by ear. To play by ear means you're not caring about what someone will tell you, what the rules are. You're not caring about the rules. Or maybe you have a presentation and you're not scripting what you want to say and you're not getting ready for what you're gonna talk. And you go there without any plan, and you say, I will play it by ear. Means, I will say what will come to my mouth. Playing it by ear and trying to keep her comfortable. Number four, to ring a bell. To ring a bell means something is familiar to you, and you know about that, but you forgot it for any reason. But when you hear that, it rings your bell. It comes to your mind, or it reminds you something. As I said in one of my videos, maybe it rings your bell. Maybe it rings your bell. For example, when someone asks you a question, hey, do you know John? And you might say, the name rings a bell. It's crossing in your mind, but you can't remember him. And you try to remember his face. This process means rings a bell. Any of these things ring a bell? Number five, to unring a bell. It means when something has been done, you are not able to change it and you need to accept the consequences of that. You can't unring the bell. You drank and you didn't know what to do. You did a shit and you can't make it right. You can't unring the bell. You can't unring the bell. The next one, music to someone's ears. When we use that's music to my ear, it means you're expecting to hear something from someone exactly what you want to hear. That was music to my ears when he told I solved the problem. This is just, this is uh, music to my ears. You know? Number seven, to change your tone. To change your tone means to change your opinion, to change the way you're talking. It's really simple idiom. If somebody is disagree with you and you tell him something or you convince him by your words, you tell him you need to change your tone. It means you need to change your opinion. Or maybe someone is speaking in a bad language and you tell him, hey, you have to change your tone. It means you have to change the way you're talking. Number eight, like a broken record. When someone repeats the same thing uh, or talking about the same topic over and over again. For example, could you please stop talking about him? You sound like a broken record. It means you are repeating something over and over again. I hate to sound like a broken record, but I need to talk to you about Jonah. And number nine, clean as a whistle. 
Someone who is clean as a whistle, it means he's a clean man and he doesn't involve with an illegal activities. For example, she is a well-known person and she is clean as a whistle. I quit, I'm clean as a whistle. And the last one, clear as a bill. If someone is clear as a bill, it means he is very clear and easy to understand. He is really clear as a bill. Everyone knows what he says. Clear as a bill, don't ask me how. <laughs> These were the most useful idioms about music. And if you know something different and better, please let me know in the comment box down below. Thanks for watching the video up to end. Please, if you didn't subscribe to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for my next video notification. And please motivate me with your likes and sharing my videos with your friends. Wish you the best.